Are you concerned about the health of your liver? Introducing FibroScan, a non-invasive method for measuring liver stiffness and assessing fibrosis. In the early stages of cirrhosis, FibroScan results are crucial for evaluating the extent of liver damage and correlating with imaging findings. Let's take a closer look at the ultrasound and color Doppler imaging findings. During the early fibrosis stage, the liver echo texture may appear mildly coarse and heterogeneous, indicating the presence of fibrosis. You may also notice small regenerative nodules, which give the liver a slightly irregular surface. These changes in echo texture align with elevated fibroscan values, as increased liver stiffness often reflects fibrotic changes visible on ultrasound. Additionally, there may be slight alterations in liver size. In the early stages of cirrhosis, the liver may exhibit mild enlargement, while subtle shrinkage in the right lobe may occur as fibrosis progresses. These physical changes in liver size align with the moderate increase in stiffness detected by fibroscan dot moving. On to the blood vessels within the liver, the portal vein may appear dilated, measuring 14 millimeters or more. Despite this dilation, the flow of blood towards the liver known as hepatopetal flow, may be maintained. This dilation is in line with the fibroscan kilopascals values. As increased portal pressure due to fibrosis can be inferred from both the ultrasound and elastography findings. Another important finding is a mild dilation of the splenic vein, measuring around 12 millimeters. This reflects the onset of portal hypertension, a condition often associated with elevated liver stiffness and portal pressure, as indicated by the fibroscan results. Lastly, on ultrasound, you may notice mild splenomegaly or enlargement of the spleen. This suggests the early stages of portal hypertension, which typically coincide with fibrosis levels indicated by fibroscan kilopascals of 12 to 13.5. Now, let's talk about the correlation between fibroscan and the imaging findings. When fibroscan kilopascals values range from 12 to 13, 5, it indicates advanced fibrosis, bordering on early cirrhosis. These findings correspond with the ultrasound results of a coarse liver texture, the presence of small nodules, and dilation of the portal, and splenic veins with hepatopetal flow. Together they confirm the presence of significant fibrosis and early cirrhosis. The clinical significance of these findings cannot be overlooked. When fibroscan results fall within this range, combined with the ultrasound findings, it suggests that the liver is in a critical stage of early cirrhosis. This stage is crucial because it indicates that the liver's structure and function are beginning to deteriorate. However, with timely intervention, complications such as severe ascites or variceal bleeding may still be preventable. To manage this condition effectively, close monitoring is essential. Regular follow-ups that include both ultrasound and fibroscan can help track the progression of the disease. Early intervention, including implementing lifestyle changes and receiving medical management, can help slow down the progression of cirrhosis. Don't wait until it's too late. Take control of your liver health today with fibroscan.